Punk. But Peach really does have the radishes and can really set up some combos there. As we get right on into it. Small Battlefield first round versus Richard of Dexel. As we're gonna just kind of, yeah, which I figured we were gonna be seeing is just a little bit of zoning. But then it's a oh, oh my baby. god, Vexel, oh my looking god. amazing. It's not even possible. That Richard was so to make it back. Fast. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Rich's face there, he just has to respect it. That's the exact kind of combos he pulls on people, and now he's having to feel it right back in exchange. It's all about the item play in this matchup. Radishes are huge, huge for Richard. He can't do much more of this combo here, though, unfortunately. He can't extend past the ledge. Uh, down from this one feel like he hits back there. But the bomb is out of Vexel's hands for a while. That's huge for Richard getting back in. Yeah, so I really thought it was going to be way more of a zoning um, matchup between these two. But as soon as that bomb landed, it was a wrap there. Vexel knew exactly where to go and what to do there. Now we're getting kind of the slight pause where it's going to really start mattering. And I thought that was uh, the old man radish there. Yeah. Vexel's been limit testing, coming off of ledge, using like there three times in a row, using an air dodge immediately. Both pretty risky, but Richard right now is waiting to bait out options. This doesn't really come from him to see Ooh. a ledge trump. You can't punish off of it because Vexel already set up the bomb and it's ready to go. So that's a punish off of Richard's uh, anticipated fourth arm. Nice counter Ooh. there. Box on point right now, but still needs to get rid of his uh, short stop to try to figure it out and tie it up. And I a lot easier said than done, honestly. Between Boomerang and Bomb, there's so much danger space on the map, and a fair would be threatening his platform as well. So Richard had to thread the needle. Getting back goes for a raw forward catch, hey. which inevitably would have killed, but at this point, it's basically even a full stock behind for Richard. And up tilt finishes him off for his second stock before he's taken one from Vexel. Vexel on point right now. That was a beautiful up smash there. Reading the get up option and just keeping up with Richard. Richard having a really tough time. There we go. Able to lock it down on the Vexel there, but he's able to find himself one stock there. One, two right now. Vexel, I will say, is definitely in the driver's seat. Yeah, absolutely. Vexel doing a great job of playing around his bomb. We saw earlier he used down air even to reset on bomb, just being next to Richard in order to find a. See if he can cheese out killing Richard with it because it is a very strong move as well. He's trying to use the platform for an extension, doesn't come off, and neither does a shield poke for bomb. Just has a little bit more pressure. And I gotta say, even after the bomb is tossed, it's not over after. You still have to worry about the bomb minigame. That could go off, and that still sets that zone area for control. So you have to respect it. So I'm honestly really enjoying this Vexel gameplay. Yo, absolutely. His Ooh. combos are crazy, Ooh. but he's getting over hey. aggressive and neutral. And a great call from Richard evens up the stocks finally. He is so far behind right now, although it doesn't take too much for Vexel to confirm to take the stock. But Richard's showing us that he is in it to really face up against Vexel. That defensive option roll there was just a little much there. Vexel's going to keep it calm, play it patient, find the up smash mark. And it was on the third flight, too. Which yeah. you got to respect those multi-hits like that, man. Yes, that's a big thing uh, for players at all levels. Rolling into your opponents uh, is a gambit. It yes. is so easy to punish it. And sometimes just the end leg of your roll will put you in a punishable spot, not even if they're just doing like an up smash or out of shield option. You put yourself at a lot of risk, so it has to be as a call out. It cannot be as your bread and butter. It cannot yeah. be your movement, and it has to be a read that you're pulling off. It, like if Richard waited a little bit and seen that up smash come out and rolled in for a grab to combo off of, that would have been huge. But oh, proactively, gosh. you can't do it. It's got to be reactive. Yeah, honestly, I think it was a little off, a little help to Skelter there, just a little slightly off there, still in the range for that third slice, unfortunately, so that will get back to game one, as we roll over to game two, uh, Richard will be kicking over to final D. How do you feel no platforms here? Uh, definitely more advantageous for Richard. He's, uh, ooh, yeah, ooh, uh, nice. he has less ability, I think, for combo extension on platforms. But both of them can zone pretty heavily with their items. A little bit heavier in favor of Vexel with Link, but I would say overall, Time Plus Nation is a better Peach stage. She really wants that flat area to just train people with her farther and Dare and Radish. No, that makes a lot more sense. But what does he do for this bomb game now? It seems like he's still struggling over here, just yeah. trying to even get some ledge right now or get back over onto on stage now. Yeah, that is the downside here to come to. It is very hard to get back with the ledge trapping and ledge guarding on this stage. Biggest, I think probably the biggest aspect about Destination beyond not having any platforms at all. Ooh, nice nice catch. catch right there. Yeah, both players very comfortable with items, of course. 
have in the zone, of course. So he should be able to re uh, realize that timing, looking for that setup himself, honestly. Oh, and Whoa. Nice uh, Peach's range doing them dirty, but once again, Richard dies off of a roll in. That's twice in a yeah, row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't roll in. Honestly, I don't see the issue rolling back, honestly, away from yeah. him. Like, yeah, just reset neutral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives you your space. You can go for Radish and then just try to figure out a different way to attack there. So I'm a little slightly confused onto that. Maybe it's just um, in the moment. Uh -huh. And it's just a reaction. Yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. It, it's just yeah, a bad yeah. habit. He's not doing it like on purpose. Yeah, I don't yeah. think there's anything he was really looking to get from him, particularly. Oh, oh, the multi hit, though. That was a really nice touch. I think Shielding would have done a lot better for him, though. Denzel just extending this lead as far as he can. There we go. Finally got a good radish. Okay, back here, zoning off that space for Vexel, but he still made it back to stage using an uh, arrow to extend the bomb, but it doesn't land on its target. Boomerang coming back. Now there's a Radish hit. There's a lot of his projectiles right now. These two engage in the the, the item character footsies. It's a, it's a strange thing. A snowball fight. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> nice pick up there. Got the bomb there. Oh, I thought the explosion was going to put there. Oh, kind of jumped into that side B, unfortunately. Gonna get himself back down. Oh my god, sword in the stone. Nice DI though from Fox, man. I thought that was it. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Bomb dropped on ledge. Uh, so now Richard allows himself to take the 2% from being hit by Bomb and actually oh, gets him back to stage. Side B right above Vexel though. That's a risky spot to be in. We've seen that be uh, pretty much the danger zone in the matchup. Richard evens up that stock, but he's still full one behind. He needs to find something big on the stock. Yeah, no. And if he's going to figure it out, he needs to do it now. But he's in that ledge trap right now. Oh my god, he uses the 0% laser. I forgot about it because I haven't seen it in such a long time, you know? Really nice Yeah, work. top tier zoning tool right there. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, get, get the like 5% that it yeah, does. Yeah. It's not for very much, but it can come in handy every once in a while in very neat circumstances. Ooh, down tilt comes out. Ooh, yeah, and a read go. on here the shield gives Richard the follow-up grab, but he's got to back off now. He needs a little more like that. He needs those reads, and he needs to be locking him down a little more. He's from neutral. Yeah, man. Richard paid a little too much attention to the bomb, and the down smash gets them. It's a pretty long one, especially compared to what Young Link that we were seeing earlier. It's got a decent extended range. This is kind of a 